hi everyone welcome back to the channel today's video is on how to make this beautiful stylish midi gown with bat wing sleeve and overlapped neckline so if this is what interests you ensure to watch the end so that we can do this together it's really elegant and it can be styled in different way ensure to sit back and watch to the end and let's get started say what you want to say to me now this is the measurement to be needing for this tutorial i went ahead to write it on the screen these are the materials we need for this particular dress so these are my scissors and this is a crepe fabric it's about two yards here is a crepe fabric and i have this color to combine it with it's about 30 inches or thereabouts so you can actually use one color to make yours i decided to make mine in two colors so i went ahead to fold my pattern like this i divided the pattern in two this is our center front and the other side becomes our center back so guys i went ahead to drop the shoulder by seven inches you can drop it by six and a half inch depending on how open you want your cleavage area to be reviewed so i marked the bust points 10 and a half waistline 18 inches the hip line 27 inches and the knee line it's 38 inches that's around the knee so i'll go ahead to mark it on this side and rule it out in a straight line the full length of this gown is about 58 inches and the paper isn't of that length so i'll mark the full length of the gown while transferring my pattern to fabric So this becomes our bust line, this is our waist line, and this is our hip line, the other one is our knee line, and then the length. So the idea of this gown is to either be in a tube form or to have straps. So I'll mark our bust measurement 36 divided by 4, which will give us 9 inch, I'll mark it there. Then the waistline measurement, I'll mark it divided by 4, which will give us 7.25 there. So I'll mark it there and then on the hip line we have 41 divided by 4 which will be giving us around 10.25 inches so I'll mark it also at that area so we'll move over to the knee line so the round knee divided by 4 will give us about 9 inches so I'll mark it there and extend the round knee measurement we marked now to the down part so we're going to connect it just like this So we're going to put a buzz that at that area. So there's the only that that will be on this front area. So from the center front, I will come in by four inch. That's the nipple to nipple measurement. So I'll mark it four inches there and make it in a straight line. From the bust line, I'll come down by one inch and then extend the line to the nipple point. The essence of the bust that is when you close it up, it's just going to create more room for the boobs to sit right in there. So this is our front pattern. We'll go over to the back pattern and this is the back side. That's the center back. So I'll do the same thing. I'll drop 7 inches for the shoulder dropping. I'll mark 17 inches there as our back waistline and I'll mark 26 inches as our back hip line and then I'll mark the knee length which will become 37 inches so guys I will extend the same measurement on this side I'll mark our round bust measurement there which is 36 divided by 4 9 inches the waistline measurement 29 divided by 4 which will give us 7.25 inch and the hip line measurement 41 divided by 4 10.25 inches and the rounding measurement which is 36 divided by 4 9 inches I'll extend it downwards So we need to shape our center back there and to do this I will come in on the waistline by 0.75 inch from the center back and connect it like this. So I will go ahead to add one inch sewing allowance around that area and to the front as well. 
So I want the bag to come down a little bit. So I'm just going to come down by one inch there and then connect it like this. And after this, we'll go ahead to cut. You might be wondering why the shoulder to waistline measurement for the back and front is different. So this is it here. When we close up the bust that, the waistline measurement comes to be together. So we'll go ahead to transfer our pattern to fabrics. This is the fabric I'm working with. So I went ahead to fold it into two. And I'll cut this off camera because my table isn't so big to contain all of this. So this is it when I was done cutting it and I went ahead to add the full length for the gown at the down part and I added half inch at the upper part. I went ahead to cut an underneath lining for this gown. I repeated the same thing for the back area. This is it here. This is the full length for the back and this is the leaning that we'll be using for the back. So we'll keep this aside and then bring in the front to work on first. So this is the front here and the first thing we need to do is to unpin the pattern from the fabric and we're just going to sew at the dart area. So we'll sew in the boss dart first and then press it down so i'll mark it here this is five points half inch to the boss point from the side front so i'll note it on the fabric and go ahead to chuck it down and i will give it a notch there so that i won't tend to forget it so this is how it looks when I open it up like this. So that's the notched part. That's the bust that we're going to sew. And this is how it looks when I was done sewing it in. I went ahead to press it down as well. I did the same thing for the lining piece. And this is how it looks. I also made these two straps that measures about 16 inches in length. And I'll go ahead to mark the center point of this front area. I'll mark out the distance between the two straps that i made and this is it here i'm just going to come in from the center front there by five inches and i'm going to notch that five inches there that's where i'm going to place my straps on so i'll open it up this way and i'm just going to put the straps like this and the other one on this other side i'll pin it up with my pin and then I'll bring in the lining piece. I'll place it front facing front and I'm just going ahead to sew that area. This is it here when I was done sewing it and this is how neat it looks. So I'll go ahead to stitch by the sides. I'll just put it like this and top stitch by the sides just to hold the lining and the main piece together. So this is the back piece that we are going to work on now. So for this back piece now, I'm just going to unpin it. And after this, I will sew at that center back. Remember we put half inch at the center back. I'll go ahead to sew it and do the same thing for the lining piece. And this is it here when I was done sewing it and also did the same thing for the lining piece. I went ahead to press it open to relax better. So I'll go ahead to measure four inch from the center back on both sides and i'll place the straps to the back and the other side to the back ensure that the strap is fitting to your body size before placing it to the back so that it won't it will relax better on your back so this is it here when i was done joining it to the back as well and after this here we're going to go ahead to join it side by side using the one inch allowance that we kept for the sides and this is it here when i was done joining it side by side this is how neat it looks already i kept that space there for the zip allowance because the zip is going to be on the side and this is it here when i was done putting the zip by the sides so i'll keep this aside and bring in this other fabric so this is the fabric we'll be using for the sleeve let's make the bat wing sleeve now so this fabric measures about 31 inches it wasn't up to one yard 
so guys we're going to fold it in four places so i'll fold it like this and like this and go ahead to divide that area and also sew it so i'll do this and then this is it here when i was done stitching up the different sleeve that were divided we'll bring in the dress at this point to join it to it to get the under bust, i'll drop seven inches and then mark the under bust, which is 14 inches i'll make it in a straight line because that's where our sleeve will join from I'll bring in one of the sleeve like this and I'm just going to place it on that line and use half inch to sew it. I'll pleat it as I go. Like I'm just going to use a pin to pleat some part of it, not all of it. So I'm just going to pleat it this way and then go ahead to our sewing machine to stitch it. The idea behind the sleeve is to also connect it to the back part. So this is how you will connect it to the back. So I will turn it to the back now and mark the back side. That's the under bust line for the front. I will also extend it to the back area just like this. So after stitching up that area, we're just going to connect this other second sleeve to it like this using half inch as well to stitch it. So right now, I'll go over to the sewing machine to do this. I'll first stitch the one that I already pinned. So this is the first look of the first sleeve I'm just stitching on the front and I'll bring in the second part. I will place it as an overlap. I'll place it about 4 inch away from the first sleeve. And this is it here when we are done. So we need to also put it to the back side following the line that we already marked at the back. So we'll put it like this and ensure that the sides are matching with the front side as well. I'll repeat the same thing to the other side of the back and be mindful of the zip area so you won't sew into your zip side. So I'll just mark the line like this and then I'll just sew the same thing I did for the other back side. So this is the final look of the dress with our bat wing sleeve and our straps inside. So this is it here. It's so beautiful. You can make yours in a tube form without the straps or you can decide to put the straps. So this is the down part. At this point, you can go ahead to do your finishing by interlocking the inside and then hemming your dress before going ahead to fit your beautiful dress. So when I fitted the dress, I noticed that the underarm area was too high and I wasn't comfortable with that. So to avoid this, you can come in from your center front by 7.5 inch. That is your shoulder width measurement. So after marking the 7.5 inch, you can come down by 1 inch, half inch, depending on how deep you want it to be. So then you connect it just like this and that will help you avoid the armhole area being too high to make you uncomfortable so i'll do the same thing for the back as well and that is it guys so if you have any question let me know in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already like the video share and i'll see you all in my next video you can also check out more videos on my channel like this one on your screen i'd love to see your recreation on this beautiful outfit bye